At the shopping strip on the corner in the predominantly white neighborhood where I live in North Phoenix, a pocket of diversity stands out. In good company with the Palms Kebab Restaurant and Halal Open Sesame Market is Mr. Sweets, a Lebanese bakery. I enter the bakery, eyes scanning in awe of the array of cookies, varieties of baklava, ice cream, and cakes sitting elegantly behind their glass cases. As I admired the variety of Middle Eastern pastries, the owner, Michael Shatila, came out and greeted me. As we talked about baklava and Lebanese ice cream, he also told me about his life and business. Mr. Shatila moved with his family to Michigan from Lebanon in the mid-1970s during the Lebanese Civil War. The move was intended to be temporary, but his family made America their home. Nearly a million Lebanese were displaced from their homeland during the Civil War, which lasted until 1990. Many of them sought refuge in America, just as the Shatila family did. Mr. Shatila began making baklava in Michigan, introducing this renowned Middle Eastern dessert to a community that had never had it before. Today, he continues to proudly share his pastries with the community here in Phoenix. Baklava originated from the Ottoman Empire and consists of layers of phyllo dough that are filled with chopped nuts and sweetened with syrup or honey. Also incorporated into many of his pastries is ashta, a Lebanese cream typically prepared with rose water and orange blossom water, which adds a pleasantly light floral flavor. Mr. Shatila shared with me two lightly sweetened dessert dishes I had never tasted before. Kunafa cheese pastry is sweetened with honey syrup and a baklava with ashta and pistachio. The unfamiliar tastes were pleasant to my American palate. His pastries and ice cream are made from scratch ingredients, and I could taste the care that is put into each one. Michael Shatila brings his Lebanese culture into this Phoenix community where customers from various backgrounds can enjoy his pastries. Displaced from their homelands, many migrants, like Mr. Shatila, were forced to make new lives in unfamiliar cities like Phoenix. Retaining their culture is an important part of their identity, and sharing their culture is a gift to their new homeland.